Hello, sixth grade scientist. Today we're going to learn about weather instruments. How do meteorologists like Maddie Kirker, Ed Piotrowski, and Darren Stack know their weather so well? Well, they know how to use their weather instruments, and you can learn them too. Here we go. The first weather instrument that you need to know about is a rain gauge. Rain gauges are tools that are used to measure the amount of precipitation in inches or centimeters that fall from the sky. It looks like a little cup with little tiny marks on it and kind of like a graduated cylinder as the liquid fills inside the rain gauge we can understand how much has fallen. And that is a rain gauge. The next instrument that you need to know about is a wind vane. Wind vanes are tools used to measure wind direction. Sometimes they're referred to as a wind weather vane or a wind sock. The wind direction is described from or by the direction from which the wind is blowing. So that's an important little thing to, to note that wind direction is described by the direction from the, where the wind is blowing. The next instrument is an anemometer. So how fast is that wind blowing? Well, you need a mo an anemometer and it's anemometer. 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 You need an anemometer in order to understand how fast it's blowing in the wind speed. So how fast, how many miles per hour is the wind going? So in order to figure that out, these little tiny cups are spinning and they're connected in today's modern times, they're connected to a digital device which calculates the miles per hour that the wind is uh, blowing. The next instrument is a thermometer. Thermometers, you've been reading these since you were children. Thermometers are used to measure air temperature in degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius. The next weather instrument is a sling psychrometer. A sling psychrometer is a new instrument to you. It's two thermometers. It's a two thermometer instrument and it's also referred to as a wet or dry bulb, a wet dry bulb, and it's used to measure relative humidity. Relative humidity is going to be a new definition for you. It's a new vocabulary word. Relative humidity. Relative humidity just means how much water vapor is in the air where you're at where you're taking the reading at. So it doesn't matter if it's in the classroom, out in the parking lot, down over at Forest Brook Elementary, at Socastee Elementary, at Lakewood Elementary, or at the beach. Wherever you take this instrument and you swing it around your head, one of the thermometers is a wet bulb. It has a little sock on it and you put some water on it. And the other one, the other thermometer, is a dry bulb. It doesn't have a sock on it. And when you swing this around, after you dip the sock into a little bit of water and you spin it around your head, it will tell you how much uh, water vapor is in the air because it evaporates off of the little sock. And we'll go into more detail with it, but uh, for right now, that's all you need to know. It's called a sling psychrometer. And the last instrument that we're going to look at today is a barometer. You may have seen a barometer before. Barometers are a tool used to measure air pressure in inches of mercury or in millibars of mercury. This is what a barometer looks like. Barometers are measuring how much air pressure is in the air at any given time. And you usually measure it with something called the setting hand and then the measuring hand. And what happens is it's either going to rise or it's going to fall. If the barometer rises, it can move uh, higher and hopefully toward better weather. Not always necessarily is it moving toward better weather. It could still, it could be way down here and rise but still be on the rainy, stormy side. And if it's uh, falling, that means that, you know, it's heading toward uh, bad weather. 
and we will go into detail with the barometer and how to read one and this is just for you to know what your instruments are what the definitions of them are and make sure that you know them for the quiz so we hope that you've enjoyed weather instruments and that you'll know them whenever you have to recall them thanks gator scientist we'll see you soon